Weekly reported sales in Perth hit a 12 year high in March with Rewa members reporting an average of 1,078 transactions per week throughout the month. Now Rewa President Damien Collins said the Perth market was showing no signs of slowing down with reported weekly sales back to levels last seen in March 2010. Now, Mr Collins said the appetite for property is strong in Perth. If this sales trajectory continues, we are likely to see another solid year of price growth. Now, the 10 suburbs to record the biggest increases in sales during March were Joondalup, Banksia Grove, Merowa, Treby, Southern River, Beckenham, Wananup, Nolamara, Iluka and Yanjibup. So now let's get into all the details with this month's Perth market update. So CoreLogic's Perth Home Value Index increased 1% in March, bringing total growth for the first three months of the year to 1.9%. Now, Mr. Collins said, Perth is firmly on track to achieve the 10% price growth forecast by Rewa last year. Even with interest rates tipped to increase later this year, WA is in a very good position. We have the most affordable housing market in the country and one of the strongest economies in the world. Now, Rewa.com data shows Perth median house sales price was $525,000 in March, which is the most affordable median house sale price of any capital city in the country. And the suburbs to record the biggest median house sales growth, price growth, I should say, in March. Reese Fremantle up 4.8% to $1.376 million. Mount Hawthorne up 4.3% to $1.16 million. Treby up 3.8% to $577,000. East Vic Park up 2.8% to $705,000 and Waikiki up 2.6% to $390,000. And other suburbs to perform well were Yanjibup, Craigie, Lakelands, Spearwood and Swan View. Now there were almost 7,800 properties for sale on Reba.com at the end of March, which is 2% higher than February and 6% lower than at the end of March 2021. Now Mr Collins said, we saw a slight increase in for sale stock over the month, but listings remain very low, especially when compared to historical averages. Now the median time to sell a house during March was 15 days, which is one day faster than February 2022 and the same as March in 2021. Now Mr Collins said, properties are still selling very quickly in Perth with buyers needing to act quickly and competitively in order to secure the property. Now Rewa.com data shows the fastest selling suburbs in March were Merowa at six days, Woodville also six days, Tapping and Karama both at seven days, or actually current Currumbine was seven days as well. Now other suburbs to record fast median selling times were Coolangup, Harrisdale, Kingsley, Atwell and Florian. In terms of the rental market, Perth's median rent price held at 450 bucks per week for a fourth consecutive month during March. And Mr Collins said, it is quite remarkable that the median price has been unchanged since December given how fierce competition for rentals is. Now despite the rental shortage, WA tenants continue to enjoy the most affordable rental environment in the country. And getting on to the suburbs that recorded the biggest increases in median rental growth during March, starting with Applecross up $90 to $740 a week, Canning Vale up $20 to $520 a week, Maylands up $15 to $475 a week, Willington up $15 to $495 a week, and Armidale up $10 to $340 a week. Now other suburbs to record notable increases were Como, Spearwood, Byford, Bankshire Grove, and Secret Harbour. Now it took a median of 16 days to lease a rental property in March, which was the same as February, and three days faster than a month ago in March 2020, sorry, a year ago in March 2021. The suburbs that recorded the fastest median leasing times during March were Wellard at 10 days, Piara Water at 11 days, Parmelia and Willison both at 12 days, and Alcamos at 13 days. Other suburbs to experience fast median leasing times were Butler, Canning Vale, Harrisdale, Inaloo, and Maylands. And in terms of numbers of property for rent, there was 2,000, almost 400 on uh, Rewa.com at the end of March, which is 9% more than there were uh, a month ago. Now, Mr. Collins said, while it's pleasing to see that listings for rent increased during the month, we are still a long way off rectifying the rental shortage. We need to entice investors back to the WA market to help house tenants and keep our rental market affordable. Well, guys, that is it from me today. Please remember to like, comment, and share this video. And if it's your first time tuning in, don't forget to follow or subscribe wherever you're seeing this. Have a great day, and remember, there's only one thing in life that makes a difference, guys. That is action. Thanks a lot, bye for now.